Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as the Netherlands. And we, uh, we keep being in this weird little position. Cities demand old rights. We can deny it, lose stability, or we can lose 10 Republican tradition. Ouch. I can't spend admin points raising my stability, especially since the cost is up because of the Republican tradition. So I will accept and lose the Republican tradition, which hurts, but it's fine. So Fala has been cored. Lovely. That's actually a really good province, if I recall correctly. Doesn't it produce gold? Yeah, gold province. Hello! I mean, hello inflation, but we do have ideas that naturally reduce inflation. And they're not critical yet. I would like them lower, but I'm not going to be spending a min power on that quite yet. Uh, and let's make sure we've got some extra claims on Mutapin territory over here. Mm-hmm. Honek. So our peace deal is going to give us 92% overextension. <clears throat> That's if we grab the stuff that doesn't have the Diplo cost. Now we could flip this around. We don't necessarily need to grab Cadiz, for example. Where's Rogveld? Down there. Um... Three base tax. Really? That much overextension? Anyway, because what I was going to say is we can sort by overextension and grab some stuff that's lower, and that is going to generally be... See, that would be okay. Where's this? All right, more new world stuff, which may or may not be worth grabbing on our own. I don't know. I think it's probably better to grab the mainland stuff. Looting, discoveries, looted, discoveries. Okay. So yeah. We'll just keep waiting for things to core. Call for peace. Starting to get quite expensive now. Ah, we're about to finish the rest of the cores, though. Good. Okay. So we'll go for the 92% the overextension thing. As soon as these two tick in, we'll declare peace. Uh, well, we're not going to take Cantabria, so you know what? You sit there and siege the hell out of that all day long. Core, 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 Almeria. Actually, I think we want Almeria, don't we? Yes, that's the thing we're returning to Granada, so let's go and clear that out. Nice, Savoy, nice. Reduced overextension. Do we get a new mission? Colonize Michigan. Uh, let's wait on that. And... Super piece. So... Play this one more time. What Madrid and Cesares? Cadiz is nice. And we're returning Almeria. But I'm going to want Mercia <clears throat> to be able to walk here more conveniently. Probably. I mean, I guess we can go around the long way, but this would be better. Now, we could still take Cadiz and be under the war score, which is nice to see. What's the the Cape Trade Company called? South Africa Charter. That's South India. Okay, so we already have the percentage. We actually don't need Rogveld. It's convenient, but we don't need it. Well, it's also cheap, I think. In terms of Diplo points. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it's still 12% overextension, though. Is there something else I can squeeze in? What happened to my peace deal here? If we take Mercia. Madrid Ceseres. Almeria. Rio de Oro. Mercia. Rio de Oro worth it? Yeah, I think that's fine. So, if we sort by war score. Man, I could take like all their overseas stuff. The overextension is what's killing us. But it's damn cheap. Um, so I've got 22 left. Salamanca. There's a university there, isn't there? I think this is the way to go. Splits Castile in two. Gives us the entire coast. We don't pick up Cadiz. 
but that's okay. We're 123% overextended, which we're just gonna have to eat. Just gonna have to deal with that. You know what? No guts, no glory, right? Let's pick up um, a couple of random things over here, especially on the coast. Trinidad, Alabama. There we go. Brings us to 100%. Uh, is there any chance any of that would be ceded to my colonies, actually? That would make a lot more sense. Trinidad is. Alabama would not be. That would be me directly. That's a good point. I forgot all about that. If we can give stuff to my colonies instead. Let's peel back on Rogveld. And do that. And that. It brings us to 102. I'll not take Rio de Oro. So Trinidad to Dutch West Indies. Uh, Pocantuck? to Belgium, Cumberland to Belgium, give Almeria to Granada. Okay, I think that's the best peace deal we can end up with here. I like this a lot. We're still going to be overextended, although not quite as critically as if I'd taken everything myself. And I can't wait for my colonies to take more stuff because I still want this mainland stuff. This is still the way to go. Send demand. Woohoo! Blam! A lot of overextension. A lot of aggressive expansion as well. But we'll be okay. We're only 104. It does suck that we're over 100. Because at 100, it doesn't matter how much you're over. As long as it's over 100, you get events. But um, everything will core pretty fast. We'll definitely grab Ceseres first, just because it technically cores slightly faster and will allow us to go under the 100 limit. And because, yeah, we don't have enough points for absolutely everything. Um, I will probably do Madrid next. Or, I just realized, I can do... I can start the other two cores. There, that actually makes way more sense. Can I sit on Madrid or are we over the limit? We are not over the limit. Good, we'll do that. Um, we probably want to do some harsh treatment, though. Even though it's going to be incredibly expensive. Oh, well, it's cheap there. Sorry, apparently has a low base tax. Um, 60, that's not bad. Mercia. Yeah, we're, we're going to want to do that as much as possible. Just because there could be massive, massive uprisings going on here. I love the fact that we still have peasants left over. Um, you know what? I'm going to eat the cost and also do Madrid. Which actually does not leave me enough points for an upgrade. Close, though. Which I would like to do to get the infantry. Castile has announced France's new rival. Really? Okay, alright. How's my rivals looking? Well, they still exist. And we're still correctly embargoing them. Indeed they are. I don't know why Castile is still a rival. That is a lot of points, though, on our side. Um, that is not helpful. Not in the least. Call for peace should go away. Please. Portugal coalition against us. Now, France is in the coalition against us, right? Yeah. Which actually makes it a little bit inconvenient if we were to attack now. Interesting that Castile hasn't joined. I suspect that they will. They should legitimately hate me. Alright, you sit in Madrid in case we get an uprising. Oh no, it's pretty low actually. Still, you can sit there without taking attrition, so I guess that'll be okay. New governor in Belgium. They want to keep their governor. Okay, we will do that. We got a Patriot Revolt in Andalusia. Let's go and squash that. That's okay. And indeed, we have too few rivals. There we go. Castile has lost its position. Um, the Ottomans make a lot of sense in a lot of ways, but I can't actually compete against them. Like, they're too far away for me to really do anything legitimately. I'm a little bit worried what, what they're going to do, though, if we leave them alone. I suppose I could send some ships there and take over Greece, maybe? Uh, no, there's a land connection there. I could take Naxos easily enough. Because I can just blockade the Aegean Sea and they won't be able to do anything about it. But I can't I can't even like fabricate claims or do anything like that, so. Wait, I can set Portugal as a rival? 
All right, let's just set Portugal for now then. That'll be like way easier. Uh, I still think we're going to go east at some point. But Portugal is just much more low-hanging fruit. Um, it does mean that I have to stop embargoing Castile, though. Yeah, because they're not a they're not a, a thing. So economy, revoke embargo, because otherwise we'd be losing some trade power. And we are going to want to. Oh, we have still have a truce with Portugal. Well, that's not going to last much longer. Hey, free money from quality wool. All right. We can have leaders, we can convert people, but we don't... Oh, we can convert some Sunnis. Yes, please. Now, when we do flip to Reformed, we're going to have a huge bonus to uh, converting all the uh, Catholic provinces, which is going to be nice. Epidemic expired over there. We're making money once again because we're at peace uh, in Bone, but we should be okay. We should have some people there. No longer trading in wine. All of our ships, so these are heavies and my transports, which is fine. These are caravels, which aren't doing anything at all. Oh, they were blockading. We probably want more influence on the Western Europe trade node. Yeah. I'm going to send you there. And we'll do that as well. We want a lot of power there. We're really competing against in, uh, England. We have three light ships here. You're trading in Zanzibar. Let's merge you guys up and call you Trade Zanzibar. Still feel like we're losing some trade somewhere. I will uh, look into manipulating that a bit more when we uh when i do the next cut we'll work on my trade between episodes let's go back to madrid I like the size of the font on madrid learn about things we got a cb against the aztecs they are primitives that's all you need to know they're primitives so we've got a cb overextension dangerously high well we're working on it hey we got a new cardinal It is going to be brutally hard when we flip... Ah, oh, see, that was to be expected. When we flip to um, to Reformed, it is going to be a lot of work to convert everything. To the point where it's it's almost certainly a bad thing. Although the cheaper tax is nice. Or the cheaper... Yeah, cheaper tax. Um, but speaking of tax, we will definitely go ahead for the, uh, the Liberty Desire. Or sorry, the Tariffs. Because we still have a lot of margin on these guys. They're nowhere close to being anything. Um, bad Prestige sucks. Brunswick left the coalition. Doesn't really concern me. Hey, we need a new person. Where? Diplo. I don't think we need the spy offense. Here, we'll increase our diplomatic reputation. Teehee. And we'll grab the military tech level. Bam. Bam. And we will upgrade. I'm going to want the ones with slightly more fire and shock as opposed to more morale. I think that's going to be okay. And we got some marriage offers. Granada, yes. Amaniac, yes. Let's keep that up, certainly. Uh, new Governor Nova, they want to keep Daniel. He's been kept quite a bit. Don't uh, run out of Republican tradition. I mean, I don't know. I don't care what you do. I'm going to keep going with the option they ask so that they lower their Republican, or so they lower their Reform Desire, or their Liberty Desire. So they've got Navarian Nationalists. That would be really handy if you broke off an independent nation. That would be beautiful. And you have no military right now, so it could happen. More native CBs. And yeah, over here, West Indies and Belgium's growing. Keep eating Florida. Certainly we'll go to war at some point again. Uh, we got lots of diplomats, right? We could be fabricating some claims. Let's keep going on France. If we get discovered, oh well, more aggressive expansion. We're going to be fighting coalitions from now on, kind of regardless. Um, some of these are overseas, too. Let's eat in that way. 
26 income, and that's at full maintenance as well. There we go. Simulating natives. Very nice. Minor inconvenience. Uh, more rebel sentiment. That's bad. This is great. Well, sort of. <laughs> New era for culture while also having massive, massive rebellions. We're going to do that. And that one as well. And then we run out of points. Still, I think money well spent. What do we have here? Listen, Armagnac. I can't have you falling to peasants. You know, you can... I guess he doesn't feel like he's strong enough. But you can totally walk through my territory to go kill your peasants. I'll allow that. We're on the same team. Oh, free population is always nice. There we go. Go to Valencia. Although apparently there's a really high supply limit in Madrid, so we'll sit there since there may be some rebels that pop up there. Start a new core. Good. Hey, grain and bone. You can never have too much grain, I guess. Unless you're on a, like, a low-carb diet, in which case, yeah, you might have too much grain. We can upgrade to merchantmen. Now, we may not want to build a bunch of ships right now, especially, I think the time the galleys has mostly passed, and I don't know if upgrading our transports is incredibly important, but increasing your trade efficiency and our... Well, mostly the trade efficiency. That's money in the bank. I don't think we need any diplo points right now, so let's go ahead and do that. More exhaustion is nice and low. Minor inconvenience. Oh, Leinster! No! Why you gotta be like that? Because you're actually kind of inconvenient to deal with. And con it. Alright. Luckily, you guys are cheap. Irish rebels would be kind of annoying right now. But we are really close to finishing these cores, which will drop us down to a sane level again. I mean, we can just keep conquering if we wanted to. Heresy has spread like a cancer. Oh, we got caught fabricating a claim. Oh, well. So yeah, if we are going to want any more actual physical territory, we will have to fight coalition wars. Coalition wars are kind of a pain because you can't individually piece out people. But yeah, it would be really nice to grab Poitou. Yay, we got a CB. Keep going. Black news, stability drop. Oh, new stat holder. Oh, six admin. No diplo, but the admin is actually quite nice for us. Um, right. Nation, oh yeah, that's right. National, 10% less trade efficiency for 10 years. Or local revolt risk and less trade power in one place. We're just going to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just keep making claims all over. We'll force them off the mainland. Hmm. What do we want? Do we have Cadiz? No. We can't do Galicia. We could put a claim down. I don't want to claim... C Let's claim Toulouse. It's fine. Kilwa! And there's no leader here. Right, because I think we actually had our stud holder as a leader over here. Um, we can have a free leader, but it'll cost us points. Let's just make... Stat holder is actually pretty good. He might die, which is actually bad because, you know, losing stability. Uh, we actually, can we pay? It's quite expensive because we have no tradition. I would like to be a plus one stability. So since we've got all our cores going, we will do that. I mean, we've kind of won the game. What, what else are we going to do in this game? I honestly don't know. Almost full on manpower again. Like, do we just keep pulling the trigger every time we finish coring everything? Repay some loans. Uh, making more and more money. That's despite the fact that we're massively overextended. Where's Michigan? Right here. Well, we can colonize it if we cleared up one of our dudes. Here, let's grab the one out of bone. We'll recall you. Uh, find Michigan again. You let time tick so you come home. We will send you. And then we will find... Two transports. Oh, over here. Uh, maybe these transports. 
You know what? We're going to build a couple of transports back home. That's what we're going to do. Literally two. And we'll send a 2K stack over there. We're a little maybe light on infantry in that stack. A few bad wars could send us the wrong way. Heresy expired in the Mazine. All right, that's okay. It's good. Oh, discovered again. Oh, darn. What is our naval force limit at? 144 of 172, so we will want to build some more light ships. Hmm, harsh treatment is expiring. That's expensive. That's probably worth doing for 50. Here, you sit on Savoy. Mozambique again. Yeah, this just never ends over here. Luckily, they're bad. Yay! Yay! Oh, not overextended is a beautiful thing. Now that, 44%. How close are we to finishing this? It's going to be two more years? All right, let's just boot stability as is then. Totally okay with that. Hey, fish. How exciting. Repay another loan. What's our loan situation at? We still have four. Okay. Milan declared war on Savoy. Well, Savoy's pretty weak. You're welcome. Take these two ships. Park them there. Merge up. Get on the boat. I suppose we could go and conquer New World stuff. Like natives and things. I wouldn't get as much AE. That'd be nice. Um, I don't know where Michigan is. Is it down here? There it is. Way down there in sort of like Australia type something. You got guys? Yes, you do. Good. Come way over here. Yeah, we can colonize this whole area. That actually might be kind of helpful. Either way, we lose power. I would rather have discipline. Coast of Alaska. Okay, who just warred? Castile? Oh! Castile and France in a war over Milan. That's actually really handy. Tell you what. I will military access... Actually, hold on. I'm not even sure if I should have done that. So Castile and France are in a war. So if I were to declare war right now, they are allied to Great Britain. That's a bit of a problem. Castile... Is Portugal in there? No. Does mean that if I declared on Portugal, say, France and Castile couldn't both join. And what kind of allies do you have? You're allied with Castile and Milan. Coalition members. So probably Castile would join, but not France. <laughs> it's the Forever War. Uh, that being said, I think that would be a pretty legitimate one to do. Alright, so I think it means I can very safely just... I'm going to accept everything. Yay! Go and kill each other. Um, I think this will have to wait until the next episode because we're almost at a cut. But if we moved in over here... Oh, I never took the mission to colonize Michigan. Oh, that was close. Military leader went dead. This is the one that lost his leader. So we will go and make a new one. Nice. No fire, though, actually. It's kind of annoying. But it still ain't bad. Sure, Milan. You can have that as well. Yeah, like, Castile's going to have nothing. Are they going to be sitting here trying to de-siege? All right, I'm going to sit in Madrid and then be ready to, like, insta-attack them. Ceremony disrupted. One of the core parts of the Republic of the Great Ceremonies of State. This time, more disagreement disputes between patricians were put on hold so we can display our unity of purpose. Recent ceremony disgruntled elements turned their backs on our tradition to air the disagreements with the ruling council. Oh. At least it's, well, prestige. Wow, we have no prestige. But I'm just happy we didn't lose any Republican tradition. Actually, they have a truce. Will they even be able to join in on this? I don't know. 
Um, where's our fleet? Yeah, we're probably going to want to bring our heavies home. I expect for this. There's three heavies. Oh, the monster fleet. The West Europe trade fleet is apparently escorted by beasts. Also transports? Probably one in the, uh, the battle. Yeah, just finish a move here. So you're in the same zone as the ship. Lovely. Ah, we can convert it. Converted. Good. Convert some more Sunnis. Uh, we're at full maintenance. We have currently income. That's not going to last for much, much longer. Oh, this guy can probably just go and sit here, too. We'll get a full siege. We've got to siege this area with Lisboa. It's not going to take much, though. That's that merchantman. This is a caravel. Oh, these guys are just sitting here and not doing anything? Okay, you can go over there. I think that's the plan. I'm, I'm going to take a look at everything be, you know, between cuts here and make sure that I'm not making a miscalculation in the uh, the web of associations, but I'm pretty sure Portugal is 100% vulnerable right now, and that we should just go and beat them up. It's a shame I don't have any units. Actually, we can walk all the way up there. Wow, really? What's the revolt risk in these places? Zero, quite high, and nothing I can do about it because we're finishing conversions. You know what we'll do? Hmm, what will we do? I'm going to split you in half, grab the bit with the general, we're going to sit on Kilwa until that's done. That should be enough. That should be enough. Meanwhile, the rest of you guys come over to here. No, you can't. Why am I... Oh! Please. Let a tick go by. There we go. Thank you. Just trying to get this organized. You can now walk all the way up to here. Excellent. Meanwhile, we'll also construct or recruit some extra troops over here. There we go. Just a few numbers and we'll try to pad out the people in Kilwa. I think that'll be okay. Because we are still below our army force limit by quite a bit. And we have some extra manpower to spare. Now, we will burn through a fair amount of manpower here. That'll be okay. So, yeah, we'll see about taking some more, or at least occupying some of these bits. That's going to be fine and fun. Okay, I think we put a cut in here. And I think, I think we may be declaring war on Portugal in the next episode. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.